Hey guys, it's Tiffany. Um, I previously did a preppy sign border tutorial, but a lot of people aren't seeming to get it by the pictures. So I'm going to show you guys directly how to do it. Okay. First, well, hold on. Your sign should look like this, okay? After you have it all merged down. Okay, I'm just using one of my pre made ones for now. And it should pretty much be like that, and it should be done. Do the border after the text, okay? But before you learn about that, you're gonna need to make a pattern. Well, I supplied you with this pattern. So you have your sign or your color scheme, whatever. Open, okay. So your color scheme, like, so you're going to open up the pattern that I gave you. You're going to go get your first color. Figure, this works only with color schemes of four. It can work with three because I've done that before, but four. So you click one with the paintbrush. You skip three. Skip three pretty much all the way down for the first color. Skip three. Skip three. Done. Fill in. Okay, and then your next color, you come in right behind the pink one. This is basically just so it makes that, like, line style behind, like, how this right here is on my sign. It will do that same thing. Okay. Keep the color scheme going. Next color. I'm sorry if you're hearing like bugs or people outside. It's not really my fault. It's hot. So my patio door is open. Okay. Now after you have all the colors filled in, you need to come to edit, define pattern. And then you can exit that. Okay. Now you go back to your sign. And I want you to come to layer, merge, which I already did. That's why it's not going to let me unflatten it but layer merge or layer flatten either one and then you're going to come to edit okay and then when you go to edit there's stroke make the color white and then make it width 2 see now you have a border on your sign wasn't it? Is it, doing it yes did it okay then you go back to that and make it now stroke 1 color black so now you see you have two borders around your sign. So now take the dotted line pattern and pretty much highlight the whole thing. And then go to edit, copy, merge. Now come to image, go to image size, just so you can figure out what the size of it is. And remember those two numbers, like mine right now, this, like it varies, like normally my signs are like 360 by 480, obviously this is smaller. And just pretty much remember the numbers. Like minus 350 by 467, same thing. Go to new, and literally, whatever your number is, go up by 10. Like 350, now 360. 467 will now be 477, and then you just press it. Okay? Now, you can, let's see, go to layer, layer, new fill layer. So that you have a fresh one up. And then fill that in with the color. Okay. Now right click on that. Blending options. Go to pattern overlay. And in your pattern, find that stripe pattern that you just defined. Okay. Now you go to edit, paste. And you just paste your sign onto there. And then you're going to merge it and do the exact same thing you did before. Stroke 2, white. Stroke 1, black. And literally, you have a preppy border on your sign. See how it's perfectly the lines are going around it? It blends in. Okay, I hope you guys understand. It's really not that hard. It's literally just a pattern and stroking it. And that's literally it. Okay. If you have any questions or concerns, please let me know. And I'll try to reply to you back. Okay. Bye, guys.